Good evening, and welcome to this regular meeting of the Holoda City Council. It's December 12, 2019. We're underway at 7 p.m. If you would, if you have a cell phone or other electronic communication device, please turn it to off, silent, or vibrate, and we would certainly appreciate it. And uh, starting our agenda tonight, we'll have the invocation. Tonight, uh, Council Member Massey will be doing the invocation, and then we'll follow that with the pledges to the United States and Texas flag. So if you would please stand for the invocation and pledges. Dear Lord, we are grateful for your blessings and continue to ask that you watch over our city staff and fire and police forces. Keep them safe from harm and productive in their work. As we en enter into this holiday season, let us be cognizant of what Christmas really means and help us to be true stewards of your love towards others. As we deliberate during our meeting, give us wisdom to make the right decision for our city, the citizens we represent, and our municipal employees. Guide us and help us to be courteous and considerate with one another. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Okay, next up we have our open sessions, uh, citizens to be heard. Selena, do we have anybody sign up? No, Mayor, we do not. Okay, uh, then we will go on to our consent agenda. Tonight our consent agenda is, uh, consists of items three through eight, and for those of you who are not familiar with consent agendas, that's just a, uh, a way that we try and expedite the meeting. It's a, a grouping of uh, items that the staff and I consider to be fairly routine. Uh, however, if the council has a question on any one of them, or more actually, and we can answer that briefly, we'll address that question. Uh, if, if not, uh, they have the option of pulling a consent item, and then that consent item will be dropped down with the other individual items for full discussion later in the meeting. So I would ask council, do you have any questions on items three through eight, or any requests to pull an item? No questions uh, or requests for pulling. Uh, I would look for a motion and a second to approve consent agenda items three through eight. Mayor, make a motion we approve consent agenda items three through eight. We have a motion from Bayes. Do we have a second? Second. Second from Fredericks. So with a motion from Bayes, second from Fredericks to approve consent agenda items three through eight. No discussion required. We'll call the question. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say no. Consent agenda items three through eight are approved unanimously. That takes us to item number nine which is discussion of an action on a request by Kyle Holtz for approval of a master sign plan for Holtz office building located at 14780 Old Bandera Road. And um, just as a reminder to everybody, that is the new building going up in Old Town uh, right there at Scenic Loop and Old Bandera Road next to the shops at Old Town. So uh, I would entertain a Motion and a second to discuss and take action on this item. Mr. Mayor, move that we discuss and take action on item number nine. I have a motion from Fredericks. Do we have a second? I'll second that. Second from Massey. So, Paul, it's your motion, so you're up first. I mean, I, there's really not much here. Um, looks like he's complying with everything uh, in our ordinances, and P&Z gave it their blessing, so I'm okay with it. Okay. Cynthia? Um, According to page two of the item re request form, the color scheme is unknown, uh, the letters or graphic style is unknown, or materials is unknown. And is this for for the actual building? Yeah, it, it's the uh, typically the, the placement and the size of the sign. Each uh, occupant will still need to come to City Hall and submit an application for their sign, and then at that time, we'll look at the text and the colors and everything. Okay. And as long as they conform to code, then uh, the, it'll be handled internally if it's in accordance with this uh, 
master sign plan. Okay. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, that was it. Alex, anything? I don't have any concerns. Thank you. Bert, anything else? No follow up? Okay, then by golly, we'll call the question on, I on item nine. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say no. The uh, master sign plan for Holtz office building is approved unanimously. That takes us to item number 10, discussion of and action on an agreement for medical control and medical director services between the city of Holotus and the University of Texas uh, Sci Health Science Center at San Antonio. So uh, this is just a renewal of uh, the contract that we've had for a number of years. And we were at the point of uh, the end of our last uh, possible extension, so we're just renewing it. So if I can have a motion and a second for discussion and action on this, that would be great. Mayor, I make a motion to discuss take action on 10. Have a motion from Bayes. Do we have a second? Second. Second from Fredericks. And we do have uh, Chief Moreland here if you got any technical questions, but... Uh, He's available. So Bert, it's your motion. Do you have any, any comments or questions on this? Well, it's something we have to do, but I, I, I never saw, this is a, to contract with, with, the, uh, with uh, Dr. Manifold, isn't it? Correct. Okay, I don't see his name anywhere in the, that, that's maybe a, I didn't look close enough. And, and I don't believe it is in there, but uh, or may, I, think, I think it is in there, yeah. I, I remember item seeing one. it, yeah, okay. yeah, so it is. Item. So we're still, uh, we're still going to have Dr. Manifold. Yeah, Very what's good. not in there is uh, if, if he wants to assign a, a designated substitute for any particular reason, if he's out, that name's not in here because oh, okay. that's a variable. But, right. but he is named in here. No, Dr. Manifold is a good medical director. I'm glad we're, he wants to do it again. Yeah, and the new price is uh, the, w the way we work this. It's uh, fixed for the three-year period that this uh, – <coughs> Uh, contract is good for rather than escalating at 3% like it did previously and this beginning amount is 3% higher than the last amount we were paying on the old contract so we're yep. good to go okay Paul anything no all my questions have been answered thank you Cynthia I don't have anything Alex I don't have anything either thank you nothing no. anything else Bert no sir nothing? Nothing. okay uh, no further discussion being required. We'll call the question. All in favor of approving the medical uh, director and the contract, say aye. 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 Opposed, say no. Item 10 is approved. On to number 11. Discussion of an action on a budget adjustment transferring $53,500 from the fund balance to the general fund expenditure line item number 01510. 5305 technology and equipment. So if we can have a, a motion and a second on this, we'll dive into it and answer any questions you might have. Mayor, I make a motion to discuss take action on 11. We have a motion from Byes, a second? I'll second that. A second from Blue. Okay, Bert, you're up. Well, it looks like this is something we're gonna, we have to do again. This is what, moving from Windows 7 to Windows 10, is that correct? Uh, correct. Windows 7 after January 20th will no longer be uh, right. supported by. I have to do that on mine too. <laughs> so anyway, um, something we have to do. It looks, you know, expensive, but we have to do it. And I'm, I'm for it. Yeah. Part of this, uh, just so you know, part of this was uh, allowed for or provided for in the budget. However, um, there was some other emails going back and forth with the remainder, which is this amount here, and I wasn't included in those. Uh, uh, email so uh, and, and neither was uh, Susan or Selena and so that's the result of this breakdown we have on here and it's just as you say something we need to do and this is just moving the money where we can do it Alex anything I agree that we need to do it I, I, I know that this sort of thing is expensive but without it we've got real problems the only question I had was and maybe I'm missing this but we're moving 53,500 from fund balance what is fund balance? What a line item are we moving it from that we're getting the additional funds that, that this is to? Normally we see this, doesn't it come with uh, where it's coming from to? Yeah, this, this came from the auditors. It's basically gonna come from that uh, same area that we did the extra money for the, the, the surplus that we had in the general fund that was left over. And uh, it'll be moved from there to handle this. So it doesn't actually come from any particular other line item Correct. in the budget. It, this is the 
just the, the, the so-called surplus that we the had fund, when the budget was completed and okay that, that's the way I, they that's the way they recommended us wording it okay that was the amount of question i just i saw that and i'm like that's sort of a very generic term and i didn't know if it we is. need to be more specific than that so that we can post it properly thank yeah. you we, we we will when we do it and we'll let you know okay okay cynthia so there was enough in the fund balance yes after okay okay that's all paul and this this is going to incorporate the body cams or is this is this is a separate issue this is, this is i know separate from the issue of the body cams but they're going to do it all at the same time this is a no this is rx technology which is our it uh, provider uh, and and what they're doing is going to be uh, uh, putting in seven new computers that that can't they're, they're just too old to really uh, be worth upgrading i think they're going to upgrade 21 according to the breakdown and then the rest of it's just licensing and and software and that kind of stuff but are they doing anything with the body cams at this time also or is this just a different, oh, totally different contract totally separate okay okay i thought there was some integration that they were going to do at the same time part part of this at the bottom you'll see of the fifty nine thousand is some extra software for the body cam project management and implementation but uh, that's just a peripheral thing in this okay. that that is uh, I was going to handle how they were connected. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's all I had. Bert, anything else? Nope. Alex, any no, follow-up? Thank you. Cynthia, you still good? You still good? Okay. Then we'll call the question. All in favor of approving this uh, expenditure and transfer of funds, uh, respond by saying aye. 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 Opposed say no. Motion carries. That takes us to item number 12, which is a closed session. And this closed session is in accordance with uh, Texas Government Code 551.074, personnel matters. In addition to the matters listed below, any matters scheduled for open session may be discussed in closed session as appropriate and authorized by law. Specifically, this is 551.074 personnel matters. City Council will meet in a closed session to discuss the qualifications of candidates for the position of city administrator. So we're going to adjourn into closed session at 713. And uh, hopefully we won't be too long, but uh, we will convene back in here when we're done. Okay, our closed session was adjourned uh, and we're back in session with our regular meeting at 824. We were in executive session in accordance with Texas Government Code 551.074 personnel matters where we discussed uh, a candidate for the position of city administrator. No action was taken in our executive session and uh, so now we go on to item number 13, uh, items for individual consideration, which are matters discussed in the closed session regarding the qualification of candidates for the position of city administrator, authorizing the mayor and city attorney to negotiate and execute a contract with the preferred candidate for the terms discussed in the closed session is the recommended motion. However, we'll entertain any motion that uh, anyone has so would anyone like to make a motion and a second and if there's discussion that you'd like to have we can proceed with that uh, mr. mayor yes I move to authorize the mayor and city attorney to negotiate and execute a contract with the preferred candidate for the position of city administrator for the terms discussed in executive session okay we have a that motion do we have a second I'll second so we have a motion from Massey and a second from buys. Selena, you got that? Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> so is there any discussion? No, sir. Anybody? No discussion being called for. We'll call the question. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say no. Motion carries, uh, which uh, means that uh, I will get with the city uh, attorney 
and we'll begin negotiating with uh, the uh, preferred candidate. And that ends our agenda for tonight. Uh, are there any objections to adjourn uh, adjourning? No objections being heard. We will adjourn the meeting at 826.